Welcome back, folks. Alrighty. Do to do. Do to do. Do to do. Do do. A demon. 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 Come on. You've got nothing. to do touch the gem the gem is worn in the touch and your mind immediately begins swimming with visions image and memories of the light not your own the presence in the gem is an alarmed at first and it recoils in fear and the images that rush your mind are ones of imprisonment and loneliness I'm sorry I did not mean to frighten you the presence calm and then is racked with indecision rather than have you leave it it begs you to stay more images flash through your mind. Time that the presence has spent trapped within the life gem. Time where the presence has slept, gone mad, and then slept again. The presence has no name it can remember. You get the sense of an elf, a mage in glittering sh silver armor. This was long ago, remembered as though a fog. As the, if there were a fog. Is there anything I can do for you? There are no images for a time, only a feeling of keening loneliness, a sense of being trapped in a mind that is only tenuously present any longer. The presence could give you what knowledge remains within it of how to become an arcane warrior. You are no mage yourself, but you could teach such knowledge to those who are. This is all the presence has left to offer any longer, the last of its memories. In return, the presence asks only one thing from you, oblivion. How would I give you the release you seek? The image that comes are faint and uncertain. You see a stone altar in the life gem placed upon the altar. The life gem then vibrates and explodes, destroying the presence within forever. The yearning that follows this image is keen and almost hopeless. Yes, I will try to help you. The image becomes tinged with desperation. The presence cannot remember where the altar is, but it knows the life gem must be placed on it. Approach the stone altar with the gem. Hello, Mr. Undead. You just gonna watch me there? As the life gem nears the altar, the presence becomes overcome with emotion. Could its endless nightmare finally be over? The images that are sent to your mind depict a clear question. Do you still wish to learn the skills of the arcane warrior? The presence is ready to teach you. I require nothing in return for an act of mercy. The last images from the presence are ones of joy. Oblivion will be a welcome relief. And this skeleton will be a... Shale, you know, wait for the others to come in. Morgan, in the meantime, resisted. Oh, shit. Shale, do your big slam. I know it hurts us, but in fact, it almost killed Morgan. But it was worth it.
Sorry, I'm pausing so much, folks. I'm just trying to make sure that everyone gets through this. Well, that was certainly interesting. But nothing we couldn't handle. <laughs> no items for all these guys? Yeah, the only person who could become an arcane warrior really is Morrigan, and I have no intention of all of making her any type of fighter. They should be easy enough. a lot of undead. Let's go this way. This looks a lot like the temple from uh, Andrastes. The water in the pool appears cool and clean. It is refreshed from some internal source, perhaps magically. Submerged in the water is what appears to be a small earthen jug. Examine and test the water carefully. The water appears normal, and dipping your hand to it is cool to the touch. It is definitely circulated by some unknown force. Drink some of the water. The water is surprisingly refreshing, but otherwise has no special effects. Take the earthen jug. You take the jug out of the pool. It is made of clay and appears to be none the worse for its long submission. Fill the earthen jug with water. You dip the jug into the water until it fills up completely. Leave the pool. Okay. This should be easy enough. That seemed... Oh, an altar. The altar is plain and covered in a thin layer of dust. Numerous carvings cover its surface, but most are ended beyond legibility. Examine the carvings. Most of the carvings are faded. What little you can make out involves a scene where the honored dead is laid to rest inside the grand chamber. There seems to be some kind of process involving the altar before the body can be laid to rest, but most of these runes are ineligible. Leave an offering on the altar. Kneel before the altar and pray. You kneel before the altar and pray, touching your forehead to the ground as depicted on the tablet. Nothing happens. Leave an offering on the altar. You leave a few coins upon the altar. Immediately you get a strong sensation that this is wrong, and without knowing why, you take the coins back. Place the filled earthen jug on top. Kneel before the altar and pray. You kneel before the altar, uh, you feel a sense of rightness and approval around you. Leave the altar alone. Is that... No, I guess that's not it. Leave an offering. No. Examine the earthen jug on the altar. The earthen jug sits on the altar and is currently filled with water. Take a single sip from the jug. You carefully take a sip from the jug and then replace it on the altar. Kneel and pray again. Examine the cauldron. See, it doesn't tell me what they are, though, what that process is. Oh, and there's my timer. As always, folks, thank you very much for watching, and please tune in to the next one. Thanks for watching, folks.